son of a bitch. Hey, what's up guys? We're back in the garage today working on the turd wagon. I'm sorry, Volkswagen Beetle Turbo. It's got a little exhaust leak up by the um, flex pipe under the turbo. So instead of buying the original equipment, I decided I would modify it. So let's take a look and see what we're working with. All right, so we're gonna be putting on this beauty today. Three inch downpipe, eBay special. I think I paid like 50 bucks, 50 or $60 for this thing. Pretty cool. Pretty well made for the price. Um, I don't see how the company makes any profit, but comes with all the gaskets and the hardware. Eliminates the catalytic converter. All right, so I got a feeling it's going to be a nightmare though, because the bolts are kind of rusty on the turbo. So this could turn into a disaster, but we're going to give it a shot. All right, so we got our bolts out of the manifold of the top of the downpipe. Now we got to get the soles all out so we can cut the back back end off of it. Up here. Watch your wires there. Oh, you got something on top of there. Here. That might not even come out through that hole. It will. Ah, son of a bitch. Ah. Oh, that's the gate valve, I guess. That one thing up there is. Alright, so it was a pain in the ass, but we got it out. Still got to get the O2 sensors out of it, but as you can see, the new one's a lot cooler and better made and bigger diameter. So it should give us a little extra horsepower, I guess. So we'll find out. Well, it was a nightmare, but the nightmare's over. And I got it to all fit in here. It literally actually bolted in. You know how they claim aftermarket parts are bolt in? They never usually are. This actually was, I couldn't believe it, especially coming off of eBay. So we got the clamp factory clamp back here, just slip fit there. And then, and then up here, you can see our O2 sensor fit in there perfectly. And then our three bolts here fit pretty well. Not too shabby. And there's the flex pipe. And then our other O2 sensor fit perfectly. I was worried about those. There was comments about those. One of them either pointing straight down or, or something, but they came out in the right spot for me. And then the nightmare of all nightmares is up there. We got really lucky and all four bolts came loose. Barely. There. there you can see it up there. Let's see. Alright, so there you can see where it bolts onto the turbo. That was a pain in the ass. This bolt over here, I had to turn by hand with an open end wrench all the way down. My arms were getting ready to fall off. But either way, she's in there. And we'll start it up, see what it sounds like. Still has the stock exhaust system on it, but it, so it probably won't be any louder, but we'll do the start up and see what it sounds like.
tire went, black magic. This will help the tires spin. We're doing burnouts with our new performance downpipe, three inch downpipe. Check out our custom door handles we made for it. Pretty cool. guys we're gonna open her up right here <laughs> see if we can get it not to wheel hop well we got the downpipe on that was a success so I think we're done for the day not a bad day in the garage I think she's ready to be put up for sale if you know anybody wants a turbo bug, hit me up in the comment section.